Hey, what's up? It's Seth from Sonic Electronics, and today we're dissecting a JL TW5. We actually needed this footage for another video, so we're gonna bring you some behind the scenes into what goes inside of this. So, got my little table here. We're gonna just kind of figure out how to open this up. Never done this before, so bear with me. Uh, I got some bolts here on the back, so let's just unscrew this and see what's underneath. Um, first impressions of the TW5 is a well-built subwoofer. Um, it's kind of obvious because it has the JL logo on it that it's going to be really nice. They actually use a lot of their own patents in this. Um, within the industry, there's only a, a couple shallow mount patents out there, and JL decided not to use one of those when they were doing the, the shallow mount and actually make their own patents. So they made their own, did all their own tooling, all that stuff. Um, just a lot of work going into it. It looks like they have the tooling for four different terminals on here, so if they ever wanted to do a, a um, like a dual 2 ohm, dual 4, or something like that, they have the, the tooling for it. Um, this one is just a single 3 ohm, I believe. It's nice how they put the terminals kind of laying down. It really helps with the shallow feel, um, so you can actually get a smaller mounting depth because you don't have to worry about plugging the things in that way. You can just kind of push it in that way. That's kind of a, a nice feature. All right, let's see if we can pull anything off so far. Looks like that back part's moving, but I don't know if I'm going to see if the weight will. Hey, there we go. All right, this is really cool. Uh, let's come to this in a second. Oh, here you can really see the weight of the magnet um, in here. Um, you can kind of see how the magnet goes in there. Um, but if you check this out, now you're going to see where JL really has put a lot of time and effort. That's a 7-inch voice coil, um, I believe, on the spec, so it was 7 inches. Um, really nice, kind of fits around the edge right along in here. That's where the, the voice coil kind of goes down. You have the nice former. Um, I'm not sure if any more of this is going to come out. And I don't really see any other screws. So to get the rest of this out, we're probably going to have to cut this open. It's always fun to cut into subwoofer surrounds. I don't recommend doing it, though, if you want the subwoofer to keep working. So we got the surround out. Looks like we're going to have to cut the spider as well to really pull this, um, pull it apart. All right, there we go. So here you have your nice assembly. You can see on the inside. It looks like what JL has done, um, and actually what they have done, is with one of their patents is this design right in here. We talked about that in the other video. Um, it's this custom manufactured piece um, that helps them achieve, yeah, the overall manufacturing quality um, and the sound quality you're able to get from this woofer um, just through a, p a simple piece like this that they have custom manufactured that helps with the design, um, their own patent, their own thing. It's just more care that JL really puts into their woofers. Um, if, if you're a fan of JL, you really know what I'm talking about. If you haven't heard JL before, you got to check them out because their quality is among the best. Yeah, so there's your assembly right there. It's kind of cool. We'll set that off to the side so you can see the custom basket. Um, I believe this is a aluminum um, aluminum basket or not a non-ferrous ma material so it doesn't really affect the magnetic properties so all the magnetic force can go right into the voice coil on that assembly and um, help with the power handling. Um, really light really well-built and sturdy frame. Um, again, a press, impressive JL quality. Another thing they do with these tabs on the outside, um, they put those there so you can actually mount it in a bigger mounting hole with a bigger subwoofer while still saving some space. Um, we talk about that technology a little bit in the other video as well, but it's just another unique design. But let's kind of recap here. We got the basket over there. Uh, we have the whole um, you got the, the dust cap, um, which you can see back there. Um, the whole cone dust cap is just one piece. 
you have a nice surround here. I believe it's a Santoprene surround. You have your spider. Um, you have your seven inch voice coil right around in here. Um, your tinsel leads that kind of come down. Um, I believe this is a neodymium magnet. Um, it's pretty big, a lot of magnetic force there, really um, heavy and solid. Um, and then the nice venting throughout the back. You kind of see a, the venting hole there and what they did there. Um, and then, get tools out of the way, got your terminals, your terminal plugs, and then all your screws. And that is everything that goes into a JL TW5. Really high quality, really high end, uh, good woofer. Make sure to check out our other video where we talk um, in a little more depth about the technologies and the patents and all of that stuff. We also have a sound quality demo in that video where we've actually installed this woofer and you can actually hear how it sounds and how it looks like when it's installed. So thanks for tuning in. My name is Seth Wild and this is Sonic Electronics. <laughs>